That's right, friends. It's time to stand up, have your voice heard, and save The Witcher. I've seen a lot of strange petitions out there, friends, and this one, this one is interesting. Uh, that's right, it's your main man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to discuss with you the state of The Witcher. That's right, if we take a look here from Bounding Into Comics. Netflix's The Witcher fans launch a petition to keep Henry Cavill replace the writers instead. Strange one here, but let's dig into it. As you may have heard recently, Henry Cavill has resigned as The Witcher. He's going to end with Season 3, be replaced in Season 4 by... Liam Hensworth. <laughs> you may know him from such things as the failed sequel to Independence Day or Banging Miley Cyrus. One of the two of those. What you might not have heard is that Henry Cavill has moved on to bigger and soupier things. But let's dig into the article, take a look, see what they have to say. Seems kind of interesting, right? In light of the news that Henry Cavill has Henry Cavill has voluntarily declined to return to the Netflix as The Witcher, very strange. Uh, they're trying to fans have launched a petition to entice the former star back into the boots of Geralt of Rivia, starting with a full replacement of the adaptation's writing team. And where does this come from? Open on October 31st by an individual purportedly named Steph Ma at the change.org campaign. Netflix, you must keep Henry Cavill as The Witcher and replace the writers instead, urges the petition. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, you know, I saw a really good meme that said, uh, you wonder why Henry Cavill's so big and strong, such a big guy. It's from carrying The Witcher. So the only thing anyone ever seems to like about The Witcher is Henry Cavill. Everything else is kind of like, eee! you know, I, I like the first season. But the second season was like, uh, what's going on here? And he, you know, he really pulled it off. Everybody really likes his, de his depiction of it. But there were some signs that things weren't going great. Uh, the petition says Henry isn't leaving The Witcher because of Superman. Netflix executives have once again given a grave decision against delivering for their fans. The reason why why The Witcher is such a popular show is that the fans love the source material, books, and games that are hated and actively been mocked by the writers and showrunner. Henry Cavill is one of those big fans. He knows all of it inside and out and wants to sh uh, stay true to Sapowski's world, which is why Netflix wants to replace him. Uh, the fans are saying they will abandon the show after season three is is finished. They will not support it any longer. And, uh, you know, they're saying we've already had to suffer through the d disaster that was the end of Game of Thrones. Don't repeat the exact same mistake of holding on to writers and showrunners that believe themselves superior to the actual creator of the story that made them successful. So far, it has 73,743 signatures, far more than its original goal, 50,000, but just shy of the recent updated end game of 75,000. So if you want to participate, sign. Um, you know, and Henry Cavill said he's more than happy to lay down his medallion and swords for season four in his stead. The fantastic Liam Hemsworth. I can't even take that seriously. Um, but where does all of this come from? Where do people hear this? Very strange. How did this all happen? Who knows? Oh, maybe we do because people are speaking out and they're talking. So let's go back a couple days and find out what the truth of this is. X-Men 97 writer. Here is another one. This is from uh, CBR.com. And this is a, seems to be an accurate source. I would take it as an accurate source. X-Men 97 head writer Bo DeMeo reveals his one major criterion when recruiting new members for the upcoming Disney Plus animated series. He said, uh, my general rule was you had to be a fan, no questions. 
I've been on a show, namely Witcher, where some of the writers were not fans or actively disliked the books and games, even actively mocking the source material. It's a rep a recipe for disaster and bad morale. Fandom as a litmus test checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're able to, uh, before you're allowed to add to its legacy. Now I don't think he was necessarily throwing shade on on the Witcher, but that's pretty strange commentary to come out there. That combined with the fact that Henry Cavill himself gave an interview where he in fact said um, they were go there was the, the scene in season two where they killed off Roach the horse, and apparently they were going to make it some sort of meta commentary on how many horses he's gone through, uh, the Witcher and. Henry Cavill was like, no, you don't understand. I've played the games. Roach is important. You don't want, you can't just kill off Roach like that. You have to let him say a prayer or let, let's rewrite the scene. So Henry Cavill went in, rewrote the scene. Probably some of the best stuff in The Witcher itself. That scene alone was some of the best acting in there. So clearly something is wrong with The Witcher. I don't think it's going... I've already reported out that I felt that this was dead. If you watch my previous report on Henry Cavill going, leaving The Witcher. But this is another twist where the fans are striking back, as they might say. What say you? What do you think out there? Are you going to sign the petition? Are you done with The Witcher? Have you given up on it? Are you moving on? Are you going to watch it through Season 3? Are you going to exit on Season 4? I'd be really curious because I read all the comments below. Anything you say, I'm definitely going to check it out and we'll, we'll talk about it because... This seems up for discussion. I'm, you know, it seemed like he was leaving just for Superman, but the more that we see this, the more we dig in, it more, it more it sees these writers just have a disdain. Why would you even be on a show if you don't like it? Like, what's the point of that? I'm, I'm just, I'm not following it. Anyway, check us out. We have a full-length live audio podcast that you can subscribe to, which is free to you. We appreciate it if you listen. We live stream it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch us rumbling and bumbling as well. Uh, you can catch the podcast on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. And be sure to catch out all of our shorts. We do 10-second reviews of things. They're quite a larf. So thank you so much for listening to, uh, to listening to this video. We appreciate everything, and uh, we will catch you on the next one because I am out. I'm out of here. I'm on to the next one. Ah.